All right, that's how you feel right now. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it be me or whoever, uh -huh, you know. But I'm, I'm just going to keep lifting you up before the Lord. I don't be trying to sound all holy and saying, right. start quoting scripture and all that stuff. That just make them more mad, you know. But you, and you realize you, you ain't dealing with a person. Come on. That's right. That's right. We wrestle not against blood. So you know you're not dealing with a person. That's why I say sometimes you have to be silent because devils are trying to see who you are. If you be the son of God, turn this into, do something to let me see who you are. Hallelujah. He wants you to reveal. And you understand something about you? Some of the things you reveal is revealing your deep knowledge. Everybody's not ready for that. There are some things that they can know if you pointed out, wrote it out, A, B, C, you, they wouldn't get it. Because it's the realm of God working in you. And it's going to get greater. It's going to wax stronger. So I read Daniel. Because he said, I want you to be aware of some things in this time that we've been born for. You were born for this time. That's what's so exciting about prophetically God knew before the foundation of the world that you would be here for now. Yes. Your birthday is your witness that you needed to be here for now. Watch this. Your suffering is your witness that you had to stay here. Glory to God. What you went through, every trial, everything the devil tried to do to you, it didn't work because God had already pronounced the prophecy on your life that prophetically you would be here for such a time is yes. this, and no matter what the enemy did, it would only make you better. Yes. It would only yes. make you stronger. Yes. You ain't bitter, you're yes. better yes. in Jesus, and it keeps getting that away. Yes. Yes. Because God ordains you for this yes. season. Yes. God yes. ordains you for such a time as this. Yes. It's your priesthood that will stand before the Lord. Yes. Yes. You're standing from the position He made you. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm glad he said, I have made you this. Yes. So you won't ever think it has anything to do with you. Yes. That you'll realize that he placed inside of you something that somebody needs. Yes. So we're not born unto ourselves. Yes. Our life is not just, well, as long as I'm saved, I'm good, I'm good, as long as I'm saved. You worry about nobody else. Doesn't work that way. Right. In fact, one of the reasons why a lot of us are having a hard time getting things running smoothly in our lives is because when things start running smoothly, we don't think about nobody else. Mm -hmm. The idea of things running smoothly in your life is so you can think about somebody else. Yes. He wants to get your stuff out of the way so that you can have literally a mindset for him so that you're not so you know, caught up in all the stuff you're going through and all the things you have to do. But then when the Lord does that, where are you? Come on. <laughs> I mean, where, where, where are you at now? Yes. He fixed it so you could be able to pray and intercede for somebody else. Yes. He fixed it so, okay, if you had a good night's sleep last night, maybe tonight you'll get up at, at that witching evil hour. Between 1 and 3 o'clock in the yes. morning. Yes. When demons know everybody's yes. sleeping yes. too tired to get up. Yes. And ain't nobody on, standing in the gap. On, God. It's why the highest crime rates take place during those hours mm -hmm. of the evening. Because nobody seems nobody to know that's right. that that's a good time to get up that's right. and do the warfare. Amen. Especially if you want to become a master of warfare. If you're going to master warfare, not only are you going to prevent some demonic attacks, but in the process you're going to learn things you will